this is about a story of a new adventure of making a compound miter box something I never done before so I started out this project cutting and dimensioning the wood using power tools to get the bulk of it and then hand tools to refine it as you can see I'm woodthing it and then I used a hand plane to smooth out the edge on the miter saw I did the compound miters so what you do is you set the miter saw to a certain lateral angle and then a 45 the lateral angle has to be the same for both or it won't add and the same with the 45 and that's it's pretty easy to make uh, you I sanded the insides before gluing because I couldn't get to the insides afterwards and I just used a hand plane to get the recess for the bottom panel. I also sanded that before inserting it because I have a little depth stop. So as you can see, I'm using masking tape to put in all the little corners so they will line up and it's an easier way to glue up uh, weirdly shaped uh, boxes so it makes it easier for it to be square and make everything look combined instead of having like weird loose unglued spots if you're using clamps. I did have to unclamp it to fix something, which you're seeing me doing now. But then after that, this was actually a pretty smooth glue up when it all said is done. You can see me in a second over taping, which I didn't want this box to fall apart, so I was very cautious about making sure I had tape everywhere on this box. And then I decided to use a piece of burl and a resin that I did a while ago that I was going to make a shelf out of, but I ended up doing this instead. Uh, so what you do is you measure the inside of the box and you use that lateral angle that you set for the miter saw on all four sides on the same side so it slips into the box using that measurement. Using the table saw is a little easier here. You could do it on the miter saw, that is possible. And then I decided to make a little chamfer on the top to give it a little more aesthetic purpose. Sanding it was a little obnoxious because of how small it is, it vibrates your hands pretty, pretty big. Um, so I'm just sanding that. And then the next thing you'll see me make is a paduk like handle it's a little knob for the top of the box it it's a pretty simple design i actually didn't design it at all i just chucked something up on the lathe and i was like mm, i'll figure it out as i go and that's what i did it was a pretty simple process you get it down circle you figure out where you want everything where the deepest points are where the end is where the middle is blah 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 like little stuff for making a handle and then you also have to make a little mortise at the bottom of it so it can actually sit on the lid so it didn't turn out perfectly but I mean that's what you get for not designing it ahead of time if you were doing this for a client which I wasn't I was doing it for myself you you would design this to their liking but anyway, so I got the diameter of the drill bit I was using and I got it down to there and then I did the final of smoothing out the curves and then I sanded it with, I think I did 
three, twenty, and four hundred were the only two grits I used. And then I took it off and I drilled it in. Gluing it was probably not the best idea. I probably should have used epoxy because I'm putting two different surfaces together and I probably should have wiped off that glue before masking it off. But I did get the glue off afterwards. I had to take it home to finish it. So I decided to send it up to 240 and then use a friction polish finish which it's not food safe so if you're putting any food or like tea or something in these boxes I wouldn't recommend using that um, but it is a nice finish it does bring out the timber nicely so I finished that and then I did the same for the lid the lid turned out really well when you're finishing epoxy use a clear finish don't use a tinted finish because you won't get the like color correct in the epoxy and it won't look like really clear but other than that this project was really fun it was a different project i've never done before and i think it turned out really good so anyway hope you liked it and see you guys next time bye